Hello, welcome to FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today, we're talking about labeled parameters. FMOD has a bunch of parameters that are very useful for us when adding our sounds to a game, most common of which are the continuous, discrete, or labeled. Labeled, as it sounds, allows us to label values, which is very, very useful. I can add as many as I want, and I can double-click and rename them to whatever I see fit. Just like the other parameters, you can choose the initial value, and that's what I've done for this event, which is an ambient switch between three sounds. We've got a space wind, a stream, and some machinery. The advantage of the labeled parameter is that I can see which one I'm using with a really nice clear label, as it sounds, which is a lot clearer than just having a value or a number like you would do on a continuous parameter, for instance. The other thing you've noticed is that I've added the sounds within the parameter sheet as opposed to the timeline. Of course, we can add an audio track per ambience and then add the audio files in here, add automation as we normally would. However, it's a lot simpler if I just simply drag and drop the events within their respective value. And of course, each one is using a nested event in this case with the original audio being looped inside its own separate event, which makes things a lot clearer and more flexible. The last thing to note is that if you're using an old or current version of FMOD, there is not going to be a smooth transition between each value. Because it is a labeled parameter, because it is asynchronous, i.e. we're not using the timeline, this can't exist. Adding something like seek speed down here won't help either. What you can do, however, is add a little bit of AHDSR within each one of the events. And as long as the curves are nice and smooth, which you can adjust depending on your situation, they should come up with a fairly smooth transition from one to the other. And that's it, label parameter. Might make things a lot clearer and easier to understand within your project.